Greetings, everyone. Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Uh, welcome to another one of those episodes that we almost hate to do, but when a legend passes, gotta pay tribute to him, right? Especially when it's a legend that has their music has touched your soul, touched your heart. Wayne Shorter, the great Wayne Shorter leaves us today, March 2nd, 2023, at the age of 89. <clears throat> Wayne Shorter, born August 25th, 1933, in Newark, New Jersey. Uh, he's been living in Los Angeles, California for a number of years. That's where he passes away. No real news of uh, why he passed, but at 89 years, he lived a long, long life. And man, this guy has played with some of the greats and recorded some of the most amazing saxophone you'll ever want to hear. Just one of those guys that uh, not only was he a great player, but he was a great songwriter and such an integral part of so many great jazz bands over the years. Right, of course, you know, he and I, I couldn't pull every single CD of everything that I have from Wait Shorter. That would be ridiculous. I have so much. So I just, I did pull some things here that I do want to kind of show off. But, uh, you know, kind of got his big... I guess start or he got most of his notoriety early on with Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers on some you know seminal albums like A Night in Tunisia, you know for the Blue Note label as well as Like Someone in Love, right the Big Beat bunch of albums with Art Blakey. Art Blakey one of the most amazing drummers and band leaders ever. Uh, so the Jazz Messengers in the late fifties, early sixties, kind of where he got his start, but really where I think the legend that is Wayne Shorter really came to prominence while playing with the Miles Davis group in the 60s. And we're talking about uh, stuff like, you know, Miles Smiles. Of course, this is the great band that, you know, Miles Davis and Wayne Shorter and Tony Williams and Ron Carter and Herbie Hancock, you know, that's an amazing band right there. So you got, you know, Miles Smiles, they put together a string of great albums in the 60s. ESP, Miles in the Sky, Sorcerer, and that, that lyrical, melodic sax, whether it be soprano or tenor, from Wayne, perfectly blended with the staccato burst of the trumpet from Miles Davis. You got the, the Water Babies album. Phyllis de Kilimanjaro, I mean, there's others, Nefertiti, of course, the great In a Silent Way, right? Wayne Shorter contributed to all these albums. Um, and then, of course, you know, he's got a lot of great solo records. The All Seeing Eye, there's Mr. Shorter right there. And again, some of the lineups on some of these albums, you know, Freddie Hubbard on trumpet, Alan Shorter, James Spaulding. Herbie Hancock, Ron Carter, Joe Chambers, all sorts of people I play on these. Supernova, great album. The fantastic Juju. I think if you're going to get any Wayne Shorter solo album to start with, I would highly recommend Juju. This is absolutely terrific. Seminal, seminal album. Again, on the Blue Note label, recorded uh, 1964 by Rudy Van Gelder. Wayne Shorter on tenor saxophone, McCoy Tyner on piano, Reggie Workman on bass, and Elvin Jones on drums. This is amazing, as is Speak No Evil. Basically this, basically the same lineup, except you got, you got Freddie, you got Wayne, Herbie Hancock, Ron Carter, Elvin Jones. You know, these two, mandatory. Mandatory Wayne Shorter right there. If you're going to get any two, that's the best place to start. But probably the legend of Wayne Shorter really grew in the band Weather Report. Basically, he was co-leader with Joseph Zawinul. Both, of course, spent time together in Miles Davis's band and then moved on to put together the band Weather Report. One of the seminal jazz fusion bands of the 70s. There's the self-titled debut. Killer stuff throughout the decade. So many great albums here. You know, I sing The Body Electric and a lot of great players have come through Weather Report over the years. Uh, what else we got? I, got to, I just grabbed up. I have, so I have all the Weather Report stuff. Mysterious Traveler. 
tail spinning. And then, of course, uh, you got Sweet Nighter, one of my personal favorites here. Killer stuff. You know, I mean, just look at this lineup on this album. Joe Zolino, keyboards, Wayne Shorter, saxophone, Miroslav Vitus on bass, Andrew White also on bass, uh, Eric Rivette on drums, Herschel Dwellingham on drums, Dama Romeo on percussion, Marunga on percussion. You've got uh, the first album with Mr. Jaco Pastorius, Black Market, Mr. Gone. Night Passage, of course, the big selling Heavy Weather. So with Heavy Weather, of course, all of a sudden, like Jazz Fusion, almost brought into the mainstream, right? That the lovely soaring saxophone, that great melodic lead bass from Pastorius, the wonderful keyboards from Mr. Zalman, all the great percussion and bass, you know, it just all really came together quite well. But but he didn't stop there. I mean, this this is a guy, I think if you, if you were to go on and look at, like, his full discography of who he's played with. You know, he played with the Manhattan, Manhattan Project. He recorded a whole bunch of albums with Herbie Hancock, including Manchild and VSOP, and many more. He did Ready for Freddy with Freddie Hubbard, Here to Stay in Body and Soul, right? And great stuff there. He did a bunch of albums with Joni Mitchell. Played with Lee Morgan. He played on Jocko's two studio albums. He's done some stuff with uh, Carlos Santani, recorded with McCoy Tyner. I mean, just the, the list of things is just absolutely ridiculous. Did some solo stuff with Tony Williams. Played on Bridges to Babylon by the Rolling Stones. He recorded with uh, Gil Evans. Just absolutely ridiculous, as well as uh, like a ton of different solo albums. Uh, he was, in fact, his most, let's see, when was his most recent solo album? 20... He released a live album in 2016, 2017, but he had uh, Eminem in 2016 was the last studio album that he put out. So I was still pretty active uh, up until just a couple of years ago. So, yeah, uh, tough loss, but, you know, this guy lived a long, long life and contributed so much to the world of jazz and even pop and rock a little bit, right? So uh, I think rather than feel sad today, I think today we should feel... Uh, tremendously lucky that we've had the great Wayne Shorter grace our lives with his music all throughout the decades. And we're talking a lot of decades here. We're like a 60 some odd years of, uh, of stuff from Wayne Shorter, a tremendous sax player, great songwriter, great band leader, great member of a band, great sideman. I mean, no matter what position Wayne Shorter put himself in, he excelled. And, you know, everybody talks about Charlie Parker and John Coltrane and Michael Brecker and all those guys and they're legends of course but I think sometimes when we when we talk about the great sax players of the last you know 50 60 years we tend to overlook Wayne Shorter and we shouldn't because he's one of the greats and again maybe he's not the explosive player that some of those other guys were uh, but Wayne Shorter was one of the most melodic out of all of them and uh, he could write a great song and a great soloist and, uh, yeah, one of the all-time great jazz musicians and songwriters for sure. So, yes, so Wayne Shorter leaves us today at the age of 89. Go out and listen to some of these classic Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers, classic Weather Report, classic Miles Davis, even the Wayne Shorter solo stuff. It's all great. Herbie Hancock, uh, Wayne Shorter is on all so many of these albums, and I don't know what the, the grand total of albums he's appeared on, but it's it's up there big time. So uh, Wayne Shorter, we will miss you, but we've got so much music that we can continue listening to in all of our lives that you have generously graced us with all these years. So uh, may he rest in peace, Wayne Shorter. He's up there once again playing with Miles because they deserve to be playing together. And uh, yes. Visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on YouTube, all together, all the damn time. Today is all about Wayne Shorter. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll miss him, but he was one of the greats, and let's celebrate his life and his music. So thanks for watching. We'll see you real soon here on the channel. Bye-bye.